Hi everyone, it's Becca from Healthy Hair Mama. Thank you for joining my channel and for watching this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. So the first thing I do on my wash days is I detangle my hair thoroughly. So I make sure that at this point I remove any shedded hairs, any single strand knots, just so that it's much easier for me when I'm going into the shower to wash my hair. So here I use the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed leave-in, I think it's a leave-in moisture mist and I sprayed it all around my plates and then I applied avocado oil after undoing or unraveling each of the plates. So I unravel the plates one by one and I detangle each one as I go along. That makes it so much easier to finish my detangle stress-free. show you how much hair I have lost yeah it's a lot I've had these cornrows for two and a half weeks so this is two and a half weeks of shedding yeah it is a lot guys but that is how things are so I am off for a beach run yay the Sun is out so I am going to make the most of the little sunlight we have had since I arrived in Mombasa on Sunday. It's been three days now. So, yeah. Yeah, when I come back, I'll do a pre-poo and then I will wash my hair and proceed to deep condition it probably after dinner. That way I'll be able to socialize with other people in the evening, but still get my hair done before tomorrow morning so I am back from my evening run it was beautiful beautiful so let's start with my pre -poo. so like I said when I was detangling I like working in sections like almost all the time whenever I'm manipulating my hair I just find it's easier to work in sections. There is less likely, likely, <laughs> what English is this? There is less likelihood of breakage just because you're working in smaller sections which you can manage and your comb is not likely going to get tangled in your hair. And it also reduces the chances of having those dreaded single strand knots. So, I am just going to do one or two sections on camera and then I'll do the rest because it's really the same thing. There's nothing different I do on each section. So first things first, I take my pre-poo today. I am using the Rich Conditioner by Mosara Kenya. And if you followed my Instagram page over the last few weeks, I am madly, madly, madly in love with this Made in Kenya brand. It gives moisture for days. All the products from Musara that I've used do nothing but leave my hair nice and moisturized and soft. So I am loving their products so far. This is the second time I'm using the Rich Conditioner, which can be used as a pre-shampoo, an after-shampoo conditioner and a co-wash. So it's recommended for transitioning, colored, chemically treated and natural hair. So the condition, oh, the directions are to pre-poo, apply to dry unwashed hair, rinse and shampoo as usual. To condition, apply to freshly shampooed damp hair. Okay, so I am applying it to dry unwashed hair as my pre-poo. I am not using a towel now because the sports clothes that I have are quite sweaty anyway, so I'm not gonna use them again. Excuse the sweat on my face. I did dry it out before I started, but clearly I worked hard on this run.
it. So I just put all these up and then I will cover my hair with a shower cap for about 20 minutes and I will not use heat. So I have just finished washing my hair. I used this sulfate free shampoo. It's by Cream of Nature. It's called the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Moisture and Shine Shampoo. It helps with hydrating and detangling your hair. So now I am going to use my Spin for Skin brush. So I typically use my scalp massage on every wash day or every other wash day. It really helps to keep my scalp nice, clean and fresh and I'll do the massage for about a minute on each side. I prefer doing it while I'm in the shower with water running on my hair so that I just don't end up with tangles or knots as I'm massaging my scalp. But I just wanted to show you how I, I do it here. So it's very important if you're going to use a scalp massage to just make sure you don't tangle your hair in the process. Otherwise that might just be a disaster. olive oil replenishing conditioner deep conditioning sessions are by far my favorite part of wash days because i get to address the needs of my hair by using products that help whatever my hair needs at that point in time on this wash day my hair was very soft and mushy and i felt that it needed a balanced conditioner that had both protein and some moisturizing ingredients and the ORS replenishing conditioner did a fantastic job on addressing this. One thing I've noticed about conditioners is that the ones where they indicate that you can leave it on for one to three minutes and then rinse it out, those ones don't really work for my hair. So I like making sure that the deep conditioning instructions indicate that you need to keep it on for at least 10 minutes and preferably with heat. That way I know that it's a proper deep conditioner that will give my hair the necessary nutrients that it needs. So I am using this heating cap that I got from Jumia.co.k. Um, I don't know if you can see this. So it's some Chinese brand. I think it's called Switch. This heating cap is the cheapest hair appliance I've ever bought. It cost me 600 shillings, so that's about six US dollars and it works amazingly well. I really like it. And the nice thing about it is that it's super, super light. So I was able to carry it with me on this trip. All right, see you tomorrow.